The new therapy enabled us to use one of the patient's parents having only 50% of compatibility with his or her own child, putting up the same results of an identical HLA donor. We applied a new cell manipulation method, though which we removed the lymphocytes responsible for inducing the transplant to attack the patient's organism, leaving a high amount of the cells that both help the transplant to thrive and also protect the patient's body from any possible infection during the first months after the surgery. Using a growth factor, we mobilized the adult cells from the bone marrow. Such growth factor is normally used in those patients having a low count of neutrophils. We didn't genetically manipulate the cells we collected, but just chose and filtered them. We simply decided which cells to introduce in the patient's body, without performing genetic manipulation. Although our study has been a long and hard one, our findings are more than satisfactory.